Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to be learning the easiest way to make red rice at home. We're going to need two cups of white rice. I have it washed and ready to go right here. Two tablespoons of chicken bouillon. And about two to three tablespoons of olive oil. One eight ounce can of tomato sauce. You can use regular tomatoes, but today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way to make it. So I'm gonna use this one. One half onion and two garlic cloves. Now I'm gonna pour my oil into a large stock pot and I'm gonna wait for it to warm up a little bit, then I'm gonna add the rice. Now we're gonna add the rice to the oil. It's already rinsed and drained and ready to go. Then we're gonna keep stirring for about five to 10 minutes, making sure it doesn't burn. Your heat should be on low to medium. Then we're gonna add our garlic. We're gonna stir again for about five more minutes. Here you can see that it's slightly changing color now. So now I'm gonna add my onion. I'm gonna place the whole onion in the middle, well, the half onion in the middle. Then I'm gonna add my tomato sauce. And I'm gonna stir the sauce into with the rice and then you'll see that it starts to change color. It'll start turning to an orange color and that's what we want. I'm gonna keep stirring until it's completely orange. Now I'm gonna add my chicken bouillon then I'm gonna stir it in. Once it's mixed in, I'm gonna add two cups of water. You can substitute the water with chicken broth if you wish, but we're gonna add a total of four cups because we're doing two cups of rice. If you were to do one cup of rice, then you would only need two cups of water. Now we're gonna do a little taste test and make sure that the seasoning is right. Let's check here. And it tastes good, so now we're just gonna let it simmer for about 15 minutes, then we'll come back and check on it. It's been about 20 minutes now, and as you can see, there's hardly any liquid left in the rice. So when it gets to this point, you're gonna turn off the stove, you're gonna leave it on the burner, cover it, and leave it for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes now, so now it's time to check on our rice. It turned out great. It looks nice and puffy. And now it's ready to serve with your favorite dish. If you like this recipe and would like to see more recipes like this, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.